Welcome back, everybody. This is Sturge on Planet Cyrene. Still, uh, still kicking it here after a couple of months. Enjoying myself thoroughly. I wanted to cover uh, some of the vehicle manufacturing that can be uh, can be done here, and you can pick up uh, vehicle blueprints for free. Uh, each one has ten tries, which I'll show you here in just a second. It's definitely worth uh, coming here and, and picking up these blueprints, even if you don't intend to manufacture these vehicles. Because the blueprints themselves are worth quite a bit of money, uh, so let's go. Uh, let's get started, and this will be just the first part of this video to show you where to pick up said blueprints. We are, of course, at the Ark staging area. Look on the map here, right here, here Ark staging area, and we're going to go talk to the vehicle master. And imagine that to make vehicles, talking to the vehicle master. We jump off the little deal here, which is one of my favorite things to do. I also like to leave oil barrels on top and see how long it takes for someone to pick them up. Last one took seven days. Pretty hilarious. Okay, and up here, and the vehicle master. Chat with him. He will ask you to go and find all the downed vehicles. Uh, there are four different downed vehicles, multiple parts, five parts each. Dragonfly, which you see here, the coordinates. Lancer parts. We'll have the big V parts and the spear parts. We're going to do the spear here, and um, I'm going to make the spear at the end of the video. I'm going to run my, my ten tries. This first part is just to show you where to go. You talk to the vehicle master, pick up his uh, missions, and then you go and find the vehicle parts. I have all the coordinates here. If you're in the game um, and you see me, uh, or if, if not, uh, if you're here on Siren, send me a private message and I will send you a copy of all of the links which you can use for waypoints. You can only have 10 waypoints on the map at a time, but this uh, will make it even easier for you and you can pick up the blueprints, which I am going to show you next. Here are the blueprints. Uh, you get the Spear MK4, uh, Arc Pig V MK2, the Dragonfly V1, and the Imperium Speculancer. These are the four blueprints you pick up. I'm going to actually focus on the Spear MK4 blueprint. Uh, and you can see here, it's just level 2, uh, remaining attempts uh, 10. I'm a little over level 2 vehicle manufacturer, so I have about an 88% chance of, 88.5% uh, chance of crafting these. This will be uh, up a little bit. I'm going to keep working on that before I actually uh, do that for you on the video. Here are the things that you're going to need for this. Zorin starring that's light power cells, bonding liquid, and low-grade electronic components. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you where to get those things. Uh, and uh, It may take some time. But it has certainly taken me a month to collect enough of the uh, light power cells, bonding liquid, and low-grade electronic components to make it worth your while. If you don't want to make the vehicles, let's just look at the markup here. Yeah, 5,000 percent. These sell for you know, 10 pad. Basically, uh, that's pretty good. Um, you can, they don't sell well on this planet. I imagine they probably sell well on other planets, but then you'd have to bring all those components with you. And there's a danger in flying through space with all those things. So, next part of the video, I'm going to show you the mission that you need to get to get most of those things. Be back in a sec. Okay, folks, this is Dirge here, part two of the vehicle manufacturing video. I have teleported myself here to the Tans Tahoe teleporter to pick up the mission that will help you gain all the pieces parts you need to make the Spear MK4. You don't certainly don't have to do this mission. Uh, you can simply just buy everything from the from the auction house. Uh, most of the things are available. Uh, the low-grade electronic components, the light power cells, and the bonding liquid are generally available on the uh, the Cyrene auction house. But considering their markup is so high, I mean, in, if we look at it here, let's go to those components. Here's the well, if you wanted the low-grade power cell, here's the light power cell. And it's the markup on this guy. 2,000%. That's a little steep. And for good reason, it takes eight of these low grade power supplies uh, for one try on the light power cell blueprint. And you know, 
uh, I think my success rate is only around 88%, so I'm really not getting very many of them. When I, when I run that, uh, you know, 80 try or 80 of those gives you 10 tries, and if you get four or five, you're, you're a lucky guy. The, um, low grade electronic component will come from this mission as well, which is, uh, I'm going to show you in a second. And the, the bonding liquid comes from, a bonding liquid blueprint which drops from the light power cell blueprint if you get lucky enough to get one to drop. I have an unlimited one. I was buying uh, limited ones for a while uh, and, and made enough using those but the, uh, the unlimited one is really making my life a lot easier. Uh, so let's go look at this real quick. If you come to this terminal here, uh, this Arc Faction uh, mission daily, it'll say, hey I want you to kill a hundred or 110 crystal peds and then it gives you the mission to kill 110 uh, scout bot collector XTs so so never mind what it says uh, on the, uh, the mission terminal this is actually the mission you're gonna get and uh, you, for the scout bot collector XTs you'll kill 110 of them I usually use my little Oz Pinchon uh, S1X1 to uh, to get uh, with uh, 10 ped of ammo and then I I, I rock it out from there. Uh, usually that's plenty to kill them all. Sometimes you have to convert a little bit of ammo near the end and uh, just to finish them off the last two or three, but that's okay. So next up here we're going to go to the Mer Beach Teleporter and I will show you where to kill said scout bot collectors. Alrighty, here we are, Mer Beach Teleporter. Just a short distance away from the Tans Tahoe Teleporter as well. This is where you're going to find the scout bot collector XTs and uh, they're sort of penned in this little area over here and often find someone else shooting uh, and doing this mission over here as well right now it looks clear so I'm gonna go in a little bit here uh, I'll show you the highlights after I killed the 110 but this gives you a feel for where they are there we go uh, and they're level 3 pretty easy to kill with this uh, Ozpin Chon X1 X1 and uh, like I said I'll go through 10 ped of ammo to do this so I'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you the the loots from uh, said scout bot collector XTs in this mission and then we'll uh, we'll get into vehicle manufacturing. I'm so excited. Okay folks, we've completed the 110 scout bot collector XTs mission. Uh, that arc faction mission that I showed you just a little bit ago. And uh, did it quite successfully. I have a little bit of ammo left over from the 10 ped that I started with. Looks like this is about 0.89 peck, almost a ped worth of loot there. But this is the interesting part I wanted to go over. This is the standard loots you get. Uh, there's just one of the steel blue paint cans. That's common. Usually I get a lot of orange paint. Um, you know, 40 or 50 cans of that. So I've collected quite a bit. But the other things that you commonly get here are... Um, robot component residue, low-grade scrap, and here's the, the holy grail, low-grade power supply. So I have at least one attempt on a blueprint here because you just need eight and I have ten. Uh, quite a bit on the robot filters. Here's the low-grade electronic component I spoke of earlier for that um, for the making of the Spear MK4. I picked up just a few of them. Four is pretty good. That's pretty standard. I'd say also with the low-grade power supply. Eight to ten. Uh, sometimes you'll get six something like that. So generally this is what it looks like. Uh, however, there is, this is a little bit better than normal. Normally I, sh I get a uh, 10 ped worth of ammo, I get oh, 11 and a half ped worth of return. But this time I managed to pick up quite a few of these low grade motion sensors. They're half a ped apiece, so three and a half ped here. Pretty nice. Looped. Uh, pretty standard amount of robot filters. 3.6 ped. This all told comes to a little over 19 ped in return. 19 ped, 19.36, uh, I think is what it, uh, when I checked. Uh, that's not bad. So, a little, uh, you know, even with the uh, the decay on my Osbin Chan, that uh, that's still that's still pretty good return. Then we did get, like I said, the two of the ingredients. We need the low grade electronic component and the low grade power supply. A uh, long time ago. I would say probably three weeks ago I finished collecting all of the things I need to make this beer MK4. So I think that's the plan. I am probably at 88.6% success rate and I'm making 10. Uh, so that means I, don't, I, I need uh, 
Actually, let's go look at this real quick at the blueprint. I got a lot of blueprints. Should put them in books. Really, you should put them in books. Uh, here we are. Spear MK4. So, for 10 tries, which is all I have on this particular one, I'm going to need 120 Zorn Star ingots, 20 light power cells, 180 bonding liquid, and 70 low grade electronic components. Uh, I'm hoping to get something like three, four full successes. I doubt that's going to happen. I'll probably get one or two. I've saved, I've saved up some um, uh, some scrap uh, uh, or the what do you call it the metal uh, residue. I've saved up uh, a little bit of that so that I and these things are worth ten ped a piece when you make them. So I've saved up about thirty ped worth, hoping to get that many worth out of uh, out of the construction. So that will be the next part of the video. But you've seen uh, what the loot is for those. Uh, uh, Scoutbot Collector XTs. I think it's a mission worth doing. Even if you want to buy all the stuff to make the vehicles, it's still worth getting all of the other uh, components and getting your ARC Faction Mission Badge, which is you only get one, but you know, when you have 250, you can start to rank up. So I'm getting close there. All right, we'll see you in a little bit, and we'll manufacture. All right, folks, this is Sturge. Back with part three of the vehicle manufacturing video. I am uh, actually going to make these damn things <laughs> after all that hard work, right? This is the guy right here, this Spear MK4. Ten ped is what that thing is worth once it's manufactured. I have an 88.7% chance of manufacturing these vehicles, which is not great since I started with this video with uh, 88.5 run into uh, some issues finding the resources I need to increase that skill where I was using my combustor blueprint to do so uh, it worked out fine to find Belker at first and then I can't find any more on the planet in the same places I have been in the past so that's a frustrating aspect. 88.7% chance of making 10 of these guys. I have 50 ped in metal residue, so that's enough to cover 5 uh, successes. At 88.7% chance, I don't think I'm going to get 5. Probably going to get 2. Since I'm making a video, I'm going to get none. Right? Maybe 1. Maybe 1. But at least it'll be full TT value. That'll be fun and interesting, and then we'll fly this sucker around and uh, have a good time with it. Maybe put some music to it or something if I can uh, find another good little clip. But I'm here. Let's try it. Let's get this done. Uh, I've been waiting a long time. I got a little setback. Bought a hundred ped of uh, metal residue. Had it, uh, you know, shipped over here from Calypso for it's three point one ped, the twenty four hour delivery. And then. Accidentally used the residue on, uh, you know, click the use residue button, stop when residue is completed. I'm not going to stop when the residue is completed, however, on this one. But I was making some, uh, some dire, uh, NKID dire S1s. I forgot I clicked the button, so I, had, I made three of them in a row before I could hit stop. So I burned through the last batch. So I had to get some more. But like I said, I got 50 ped worth of metal residue. We're going to do this construction, and we're hoping to get more than one uh, success here at 88.7% success. Wow, I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous about it. I'm not going to stop it though. Uh, that's why I'm not hitting stop when residue is depleted. You know, I, I never see uh, manufacturing globals on Cyrene, other than like the really big. Um, uh, why can't I ever think of these things? Explosive projectiles. And these people are burning through ped after ped after ped to, to get these. And it's just not worth doing. Uh, there isn't there isn't enough in the pool, I, I think, uh, to get some of those nice globals. I've had very little success rate with it. Uh, so here we go. Without further ado, we're going to do 10. Wish me luck. I'm kind of excited. Kind of nervous. First one is a fail. <laughs> Like I said, I think I'll only get one. There's one. 
boom, success. Gosh, and the uh, 125% markup, I think these things are coming in at. There's two, bit of a surprise. Yeah, and I'm wondering if these things come in at like, uh, yeah, 1.94, so they're about two ped is what I'm thinking is your success rate. There's a third one. I'm amazed. Amazed. Oh, what fun. What fun this is, you know? Uh, there's number four. Good thing I threw a 50 pad, right? If we get one more success. What happened? It was 10? How did 10 come so fast? Four successes. I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to buy another blueprint. I have enough to do at least one more. And then a little bit more metal residue I can do too. So there you have it. Four uh, fully functional, full TT value. Um, Spear MK4. And uh, next part is going to be me driving. Uh, it will be me just driving one of these things around. What fun. Okay, folks. Here it is. This is the Spear MK4. Wow, uh, pretty sleek looking thing, right? Looks like you should have a little gun on the front here. Interesting, right? Look at that cool steering wheel. Right? Looks like it has a little angry face on it. And some cool jets. Right? We spawned it here. Uh, no, we don't want to move to the trash can. We want to, want to look at it. Let's see, here we go. Here's a full TT value 10 pad. It's got oil. Currently has fuel value of 0.98 pet. It's interesting because I only jumped on it for a few seconds and I've already burned two pack of fuel. So this isn't very efficient. Um, but not even go anywhere. Anyway, uh, oh well, okay. So I, I, I've watched some videos about this uh, this vehicle. Uh, it's kind of oops. There we go. It's kind of interesting. A little better than the MK2. I think it, that's it's the cargo max weight and cargo capacity is like 30, and then I max weight was a little bit different. Whatever. Fuel consumptive, consumption passive. That's why we burned through that two pack already. Let's see how far we can go. Make a little video here of me driving around in this silly little thing, and uh, we can have some fun, right? Kind of cool. Look at that. Lifting off the ground there. Oh yeah, look how studly I am. Sweet legs. Why are my fingers up? That's just, that's really silly. They look, I look weird. Yeah! And there you have it folks. If you want to drive this sucker, don't hit the gas too hard. Wow. That's pretty powerful. Steering capacity is reasonable. Uh, yeah, I think this responds kind of poorly. Yeah, ooh, wee, wee, wee. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. Run some through some of these mean, mean. Uh, yeah, Zelados. Here we go. Wee. Well, maybe they'll chase me. Uh, no, not, not too bad overall. Uh, it handles reasonably well. Let's see how it handles a cliff. Yeah, so uh, the videos I've seen say that this thing doesn't handle um, going up a hill well. So that may be the MK2. This one seems to be handling it okay, other than that first start. Uh, where it flipped backwards, just hitting the gas. Otherwise... Uh, putting it through its paces here. Let's go. Let's take it a little bit more uh, unreasonably. Of course, I'm out here with the Zelados, which is so smart, right? I'm just going to get killed. But that's half the adventure. Uh, being stupid with your newly manufactured vehicles. Here we go. Up the hill. And... Yeah, it seems to have issues. Yeah. I'm, I'm with it. It was kind of fun. Maybe the gyroscope is a little off on this thing. Yeah, not good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, I'm um, not very good at driving upside down, folks. Uh, you beat me up. Oh! <laughs> Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
uh, well, there's a demonstration of how how this vehicle is not going to do well against Zelodoth Beta. Okay, we're back, and uh, yeah, it's a little messed up. Uh, doesn't look this weird kind of grayscale thing we got going on here. Yeah, kind of damaged. Uh, that's it's kind of silly, actually. I'm just gonna repair it. See, you know, uh, get it back in working order. Uh, and maybe drive it around a little bit more. But we're having a good time. It's the idea you manufacture these crazy little deals and then uh, drive them into precarious situations and get yourself killed. And then destroy the vehicle in the same time. That's where your repair skill, uh, repair vehicle skill comes in. Your RK5. Lovely device. <laughs> oh gosh, I've had so much fun. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, we've, I've destroyed this thing. I built it and played with it and killed myself in my tidy, stupid blue pants. And that's the uh, that's vehicle manufacturing here on Planet Siren. So we did ten attempts. Got four of them. And Lord knows what I'm going to do with these things. Probably just give them away. But it's a lot of fun. That was a great adventure. Next deal, I'm going to maybe do one more video here on Planet Siren, and then I'm out. Uh, run into some problems here uh, that uh, I'll address later. Uh, nothing insurmountable. Just uh, I I also need to go back to Arcadia and can continue with my um, my leveling up uh, with the um, uh, the Oratan missions. Uh, you know, I've already made Sergeant, as we can see here. Uh, that's also inside my clan. But I've also done the uh, Sergeant level, and then I, I need to do the next level, uh, which is, I think I have like 28 days worth of that still remaining to go. So might as well focus on doing some of those missions, and uh, one day I'll get the drop ship and I'll be a lieutenant. There you have it. Lots of fun here on uh, Planet Sirene building this Spear MK4. Hope you enjoyed it. Ciao for now.